everyone i am praveena and today we are here to discuss about the advancement in reproductive assistive technology so we have an expert over here to discuss about all this technology she is the chairman of prashant multi speciality hospital and medical director of prashant fertility research center she is none other than dr geeta haripriya it's my honor to welcome her onto this session welcome dr geeta what are the options for patients who wants to conceive by their own eggs yeah there are a lot of people uh, who have a low amh and uh, they are told by their consultants that this is too low and therefore you cannot conceive with your own eggs but that's not the truth today because we have other options like using stem cells on a research basis and platelet rich plasma with additional growth factors which actually help to improve the eggs we have uh, done more than 200 cases where we have injected the stem cell and the uh, platelet rich plasma into the ovaries and uh, we have found at least at 50% of patients we have had an improvement and they've had uh, about two or three eggs uh, one embryo or two embryos and many of them have had babies with their own eggs so there is a lot of uh, a promise in these new only when uh, their age is around uh, you know 49 50 then it becomes difficult to wake in the um, uh, the ovary and get the eggs out otherwise most of them when they low amh younger age group definitely they get their uh, results but when they are uh, 40 then the results are there but it's less it's about 45% 46% like that but when they it's uh, closer to 35 and uh, 36 then the results drop even more and at 40 it's only about 40%. So it it's important to seek help early uh, when they are told that their AMH is low so that we are able to help them out with all these new technologies. If one uh, cycle of uh, injecting the stem cell and AMH into the ovary fails then we ask for a second cycle. And in the second cycle most of them at least 60% of them they respond. It's only the patients who are in the older age group with a very very low uh, AMH value and a very high fsh value and the ovaries have stopped working many years ago they are the people who don't respond otherwise most of them do respond so many of the people have a myth like you know women who undergo ivf treatment uh, after the delivery they do not produce breast milk how far it is true no it's not true because uh, uh, we make sure that uh, you know they take the right things during their pregnancy the diet wise lots of protein and uh, Uh, uh there are lots of badam pista cashew nut walnuts cheese everything to uh, the eggs and everything to help and post delivery we ask them to take a lot of garlic lot of fish uh, which are all galactogogs if they don't produce then we give them medications as well which help to improve the lactation we have a lactation consultant who actually helps them antenatally as well as postnatally to help them to uh, feed their babies and to continue with the lactation so uh, if they are focused on what they want uh, then definitely we, we can help them to get it and the hormones and the medication used for ivf do not really af- affect the lactation okay uh the other question what i have is because uh, you'll have lot of international patients coming down and uh, you know when the pregnancy is confirmed for an international patient uh is it a necessity that the patient has to stay at prashant hospital throughout their pregnancies and deliver here itself or have any other options no nope, not at all because most patients international patients who come they used to because uh, uh, in their countries they at that point of time the facilities were not that good but now most of the countries have good uh, facilities for deliveries and uh, particularly the west you know they, their facilities are too good so many of them uh, if they want to go very early then the first scan confirmation and then they go back to their countries most of them would like to stay on for at least 12 weeks uh, because they want to confirm make sure that everything is okay and then go people with uh, twin pregnancies if their uh, mouth of the uterus is very short they've had previous miscarriages then we uh, ask them to take have a stitch in the uterus so they finish the stitch and wait for a uh, you know two weeks after the stitch and they go back most of the patients they leave by about 20 weeks of pregnancy that is those who wish to have had bad episodes earlier they stay on for a little longer make sure that everything is okay and then they leave so there's absolutely no indication for them to uh, stay back here to deliver their babies but having said that there are people who have had major mishaps in the second half of pregnancy so those patients would like to stay back 
because they've never had a, a, a fruitful outcome earlier and they would like to improve their outcomes and therefore they are the people who actually stay back of their own choice because they want to deliver the baby safely and go home. We have excellent uh, uh, level 4 neonatology unit and uh, we are able to save even babies uh, as uh, small as 530 grams. So that's the reason why many of them actually stay back to deliver their babies and take them back. Thank you so much Dr. Geeta for giving your valuable time.